I'm Mark Phillips on the Israeli-Gaza frontier. Gaza is about two miles that way. Behind me, an Israeli armored column has formed up. It's been sitting here for about a day. The Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak told the Israeli parliament this morning that this was a battle that he said would continue till, quote, the bitter end. Many here fear, and particularly within Gaza fear, that the bitter end might involve these ground troops going in to follow up on the aerial campaign that has been waged for three days now. The bombing is not as intense as it was in the early waves on Saturday, but it is still devastating. The Palestinians are talking about more than 300 casualties, and a UN aid agency confirms that at least 50 of those casualties are in fact civilians, and not the Hamas military personnel that Israel says it is targeting. This is clearly a campaign that Israel has not yet concluded has been a success. The proof of that has been that there are still rockets coming from within Gaza and landing in this area and in the towns around the Gaza Strip. There was another Israeli killed by rocket fire this morning. This is very much a campaign that might be a lot more difficult to stop than it was to start. I'm Mark Phillips on the Israel-Gaza frontier.